You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. something you would like to tell me. Why do you ask? Because you, you've been acting really strange. Your attitude is unlike you. I don't know. Don't worry. Soon I'll have rest. I knew you were tired. Eh? Don't worry. When you finish eating, you'll rest very well. Before that, you take your bath and I'll massage you very well. You take this thing off. You've been wearing it since morning. Eh? I don't know how someone will travel and continue to wear what he came back with. When the time comes, I'll remove it. Hmm? Oh. Well, eat. <laughs> very well, very well. So sweet. Mm. Um, I, I wouldn't mind if you can get me that stuff I used to like. What? Mm -hmm. Ozo You want to eat something else this night? I mean the fried yam. You know the way you used to prepare it for me. <laughs> you just swallowed fufu. Are you sure all is well? Please, can you just do it? I know how much I missed it. You know how much I like it. This woman had that you went. <laughs> this woman, <laughs> let me go to the kitchen and see what I can ruffle up. Okay, please, please, love, please, just do it for me, please. Oh, they're not eating for two people. Are you sure you're not the one that is now pregnant? Did you visit your mother? My mother? What happened yes. to her? No, no, nothing is happened to her. Is everything all right? Everything is fine. You see, we were wondering if you could travel down and stay with her instead of staying here all alone by yourself. Hey, you can tell me the truth. What happened to my mother? Eh? There's nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong with your mother. She's fine. Then who? Mm. We were actually wondering. How you could be staying in this house all by yourself? Huh? Alone? How? I'm not alone in the house. I'm here with my husband. Husband? Your husband? Mm -hmm. You mean your husband is here? Yes. He was the one drinking this palm wine. Told me to go and bring uh, Moyam for him. So where is he? Yeah? Uh -uh. Chief, yeah, come boy, let me no, 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 can you meet up in name? Let me go and conclude what I was doing in the kitchen. Oh, the muscle, oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Let me bring. Okay. DK is truly dead. Yes. But my problem is why is the spirit roaming about? That is the part I don't understand. I don't know. Maybe, maybe we will need to see a very strong medicine man. Tell oh. me what to do. No, no. It has not got into that. Mm -mm. It has not got into that. Are you sure his spirit has not come back to haunt any of us? You might be right.
Are you alright? Sit, sit down. Are you alright? I'm scared. Scared? What? I don't understand what is happening around me anymore. Is your husband well? He, he's well, he's, he's okay. But am I alive? It's as if I'm dangling between two worlds, between dreams and reality. Mother, please touch me. I, I, I don't understand what I've become. I, I don't know. I'm confused. husband what you've done. I can't. I can't. He will be angry. Yes. He would be angry. But he would forgive you. You need to tell him before the spirits would kill you and your husband. Go. <gasps> what has she done? Olisa, did you see my husband? Olisa, did you see my husband? of death shall never enshroud you. Chegou, zoi, mamu, mãe, que não só. Uma 
You're going to the north at this time of the day and you didn't inform me earlier. I'm so sorry, but the earth keeps straying me around. I'm going to Kafanshan. I had told you earlier that I, I wanted to talk to you about something. I, I need to unburden my heart. To, Is it to... about you and Olisa? He already told you. No one tells the seer. Was a sacrifice at the crossroad means. Please forgive me. No, 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 no. Get up, get up, get up. I'm, I'm forgiving you already. I'm, I'm forgiving you. I know you did not do it because you were unfaithful. You did it to please me. You were remorseful of what you did. I forgive you because Olisa did not put his seed in you. Uh, what? How did you know? Uh -huh. I love you. My love. I'll see you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Take care of yourself. I I need I You apologize to him. I did, and he said he has forgiven me. Okay. He's a good man. Mother, I, I don't think he has truly forgiven me. I don't think so. You need to pack your things. There's so much evil force around here. You need to get out of here until everything comes down. Nani is not happy with you. Let me get my things. We need to live here. You need to get out of here and stay out. Stay. Go on, exam. Ukrutu! 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 Tomorrow we will be going to see the Dibia. I implore you to come at me. Ukrutu, don't fail me. Don't fail me! Your brother did not die a natural death. His wife committed an abomination that led to his death. I knew it. I knew it. Nobody has died at that age in our lineage. Nobody. Um, please, what can we do to make his spirit rest in peace? Oh. The woman has to confess first. Yes. Go and tell her to confess. Then, Anne will be appeased. Hmm. You can go.
I'll break her head. In short, I'll tear her apart. I'll be one name, why you are. Why you are, Biko. The Dibia did not say that we should beat her. Remember, the Dibia only said that we should tell her to confess. Okay. Please. All right. Let her refuse to confess and see what I will do to her. But wait, Obi. What abomination do you even think she committed? I suspect she slept with another man. Hmm? Yes. Um, but even at that, it can only kill her if her husband eats her food. I think she did it before Dicky traveled to Omaha. Oh, yeah? Yes. Let's go, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's not a funny matter. Also, I got a child must come back. Come out now. Yeah. Let's go. I best on the other one. Okay, Okay, okay. I'm going to tell you I bind every spirit of misfortune and failure that you have brought upon yourself. May they depart from you. May they depart from you as you go on this exile. When you get to my mother's house, go to the fireplace and pick up the key. The spirit of my mother will take care of you. Now go. Bye. 
What is the problem? We want to speak with her face to face. Yes. She's not here. If she's not here, where could she be? I should be asking you. Is she not your brother's wife? Because our brother is dead. And the Dibia says she, he will not be buried unless your daughter comes to confess yes. her abomination. What? Dike? Dead? But she told me he went to the north. His ghost is roaming about the village. Dike? Gone? How could that be? No wonder. I had the premonition. I, I knew something was wrong. We will give her until tomorrow morning to come and confess what she has done. Else, I'm taking it to Lassi. Omale, if you know the whereabouts of your daughter, tell her to come and see us. Very important. Obi, let's go. TK! TK! Hi! Oh, God, dear, Mono. Ha! Is it one mother? Is it Doing it the way I asked you. Thank you. Do it till the end, and I'll sacrifice the cow for you. The heart of man is so evil, the thoughts of man full of wickedness, greed and selfishness has destroyed the world. I'm infinite, I'm on <laughs> so, finally, this whole land belongs to me now. <laughs> and who said life is not good? Obi, in will go. Obi, will I go? Obi, Obi, will I go? No, no, can you find the cousin? Oh, no, will I go? Yeah, come on, come on. Mama, 
I brought you food. Thank you. I smell death all around you. Maybe I've been condemned to die. Your husband's people came. They said you've committed an abomination. And they want you to come and confess before all of them. Mother, please, tell them to wait till my husband gets back. I cannot speak in his absence. Mm. And when would your husband return? That is if he ever returns. I am willing to wait, no matter how long it takes. Except, of course, that takes me before then. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> How are you? I'm fine. Now are you coming from looking this excited? I didn't even notice I'm excited, am I? <laughs> you are very, very excited. Well, it's God. <laughs> you don't even look like you have lost a brother. My brother. Death wants to put shame on my face. So I've decided to put death to shame by being happy. Hmm? I just want this whole thing to pass so that I can bury my brother, DK, and move on with my life. That's a good one. I've spoken to my children. They are getting all the burial arrangements in order. Okay. Yeah. Mm, I see. <laughs> okay. So let me run along. I need some rest. Yes. <laughs> I'll see you. Okay. Hope there is nothing else to this. So you want to bury your brother and get to move on with your life. Well, I'll let you. They want her to swear that she has nothing to do with Dickie's death. But you said the Dibia said she should confess. There's no need for confession. She will now have to swear. And if she refuses to swear, she will be beaten naked in the marketplace. Beaten naked in the marketplace? We will not bury her husband until she swears. That is the tradition. I have heard you. Uh -huh. But do you think that your daughter slept with another man? I am not my daughter. You see, this kind of a thing happened in the past. 
a married woman slept with another man and the husband died days after. Obi, I am not my daughter. You want her to swear? She would swear. All right. I'll be on my way. Easy. I have come to talk to you as a mother. Is there anything you've done that I forbids that I should know? Nothing. Nothing? Nothing. Do you want to swear and die? Or would you rather tell me the truth so I would know how to protect you? There's, there's nothing else. Did you use love charm or any kind of charm on your husband? Charm? No, I did not. I have never touched any kind of charm in my entire life. Can you swear before any oracle that you did nothing else to offend Annie? I will not swear. I have not done anything to offend Annie. Any woman that sleeps with a man that is not her husband has offended both Annie and her chief. I'm asking you, did you do anything wrong? That is the only way I have offended Annie. I don't think so. Do you want to swear and die? I will not swear until my husband comes back. Well, since you're not ready to tell me the truth, I would leave you. Do not expect me to stand by you when you need me. I take my leave. My brother will be. Since you said your children in the city are making plans for Dickens' burial, I think we should bury our brother so that his spirit can rest. We cannot bury him until Chinwa confesses. Then we punish her for her iniquities. Only after that we will bury my brother. My brother will be. We don't need to make trouble with Chinwa. Dike is dead and gone. Even if we punish Chinua, will Dike come back to life? He is dead and he is dead. Obey my brother. I think I support what Nana is saying. There is no point. Let us forget whatever she may have done and bury our brother in peace. Besides, Dike could have struck her dead. Is so wanted. Oh. So. We will not bury Dicky until Chingma confesses. Both of you will not make me to change my mind. Remember, Dicky is my brother. He is as well as our brother. Yes, he is our brother too. Think about this, Sue. Please. Give it a second. Chingwa! Chingwa! I brought you food. Mother. I am so sorry for disappointing you. It wasn't what I set out to do. I was just desperate to give my husband a child. You don't owe me any apology. I just feel hurt that you didn't listen to me. I, your mother, I knew you were not impotent. I told you to wait for the writer, but you wouldn't listen. Please forgive me. 
I've already forgiven you. I just pray that after your exile, Annie would forgive you. What about my husband? Isn't he back yet? Your husband is not back and he's not coming back any soon. I need to see him. Like, I need to unburden my heart. I will see you later. Responsible for this pregnancy. I'm sure you would be happy to hear the good news. He's not responsible for this pregnancy. Now tell me, who is responsible? The man I slept with did not put his seed inside of me. It was weeks after I slept with him that my husband put his seed inside of me. Do you think I'm a child? Mama, I saw my sacred week. That's how come I know the seed is not his. The seed is my husband's seed. I don't know what to believe anymore. I don't know. Do you want me to get rid of the pregnancy? You will not get me involved in your evil ways. You don't believe me, so the only way out is to, to get rid of the baby. I can see that your head is in the evil forest. Akohi. I need to see my husband. I need to see him to unburden my heart and then give him the good news. Oh. It's already too late. You told him about the good news and he said I shouldn't come back. Your, your husband has gone to the land beyond. I don't understand. The land beyond. You need to put yourself together. Your husband, Dike, is dead. He said he died on his way to Umwahe. So, I've been sleeping with a ghost. Eating with a ghost. I, I can't believe it. Well, his people say that um, you're responsible for his death. So, they need you to come and swear in front of everyone that um, you, you, you don't have a hand in his death. I will not swear. I will not swear. I didn't kill my husband. I will not swear. You will swear. 
You must swear. If you do not swear, they will believe you're guilty. I am guilty. I, am I not guilty? I am guilty. I am guilty. It's not your adultery that killed him. His chi knows what killed him. And the gods, the gods will do something when they're ready. You must swear. What if I die? What if I die? <laughs> so you knew all this well. I'm sorry. My husband asked me not to see you. Do you think that is what killed DK? I don't know. I'm scared for you. I don't think that's what killed DK. I think something else killed him. I don't know what to think. Honestly, I don't know what to think right now. Are you going to swear? I am scared. I am scared. I'm so sorry this is happening. I'm sorry. I'm scared. Yeah, tell the neighbor. Uh, who is here? Omari. Oh, Your daughter has done the worst. What has she done this time? Oh, was found dead in a farm. And the Dibia says that the owner of the farm knows what happened to him. And the farm in question belongs to your daughter, Chimwa. If you're here to tell me that my daughter is going to swear to that, well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. She would not swear. Maybe the gods have killed Olisa for sleeping with another man's wife. Oh, so you are aware that your daughter has been sleeping with Olisa all this while? I will not answer that question. And have it in mind that my daughter would not sway over my dead body. Enough has been said. We shall see. We shall not see. Now do not get me angry. Else I will spew my venom. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let the horse clash. That's which to the thoughts of men. You will go on exile for seven months. On the eighth month, you shall come back. Go and take your bath.